so today I'm going to do two songs, both from the Progressive Era, my favorite historical time period, and um, I'm going to give a little bit of historical context for them both, something I almost never do, but I think given the similarity of these songs, uh, it's appropriate. So they are both about, um, quote unquote, the new woman who broke out of Victorian standards at the turn of the 20th century. Uh, these two women that will be talked about in the songs, um, they were both interested in sports, as you'll see, and they both were uh, disguised by the songwriters using uh, different names than their real life muses actually possessed. So the first one, uh, I'm sure everyone will know, uh, both songs in fact will be famous for their verses, which are, um, excuse me, their choruses, which are often uh, sung popularly, but their verses are less known. Um, so the first one is from 1892, written by an Englishman named Harry Dacre, uh, and it was inspired by a real-life English aristocrat. Uh, his name was uh, Francis Evelyn Greville, uh, but she was married to a man also named Francis and she didn't want to be called the same name as her husband, so she went by the sobriquet of Daisy. She was also an avid cyclist, and as you may know, the 1890s were a time when um, cycling was uh, not that popular. It was increasing in popularity, but it was rare for a woman, particularly a society woman, to be seen in public on a bicycle. And so uh, Miss Frances, or as she preferred, Daisy, um, made headlines. And when Dacre, the songwriter, uh, did a tour of the United States, he complained about the cargo fee he had to pay to have his bicycle transported. And uh, the, um, I guess the customs agent retorted, well, sir, at least it is not a bicycle built for two. Otherwise, he would have had to pay double. <laughs> so you probably know what song this is, but that's the context. And here we go. Thank you. 
that in the instrumentation part. That's that song. And the second one is from a little later. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but the first one, Daisy Bell, was published in 1892 um, by an Englishman, though I think it was published in the United States. Um, the second one was written and published by an American in the United States in 1908. And um, this one, too, anyone would recognize by the chorus line, but the verses are very obscure. Um, so this one was written by Jack Norworth, who was a Tin Pan Alley songwriter living in New York. And um, at the time he wrote this in 1908, he was married to vaudeville actress Louise Dresser, but he was having an affair with another vaudeville performer uh, went by the stage name of Trixie Fraganza. And Fraganza is an interesting figure. She was um, simultaneously a women's rights activist, suffragette. Uh, she was, like I said, a stage performer and later a silent film performer. And she was also an avid baseball fan. So uh, keep that in mind as you come to recognize this song you'll see that the verses are about uh, a woman spectator who, uh, contrary to the social conventions of the time, uh, is very participatory and uh, takes an active part in adjudicating the game. So here we go. <laughs> 